hello my loves good evening to you guys how are you doing i have somebody here with me hi okay so one of my friends that i was going to be meeting some of my friends here in lagos and this is one of them can you please introduce yourself hi what's your yeah, name my name is Oluwa Shion, MC Razi, the whole DG of mm. hype okay the odg of hype <laughs> That's right. okay so his name is Shion, guys so first of all before i actually like you know keep talking about show and all of that you know i've been in lagos for how many days now two days yeah two days for like two days now guys and i can tell you there's difference between here in lagos of course huge difference lagos to the city where i came from adway kitty because lagos of course everybody knows that if you are from lagos or if you know about nigeria lagos is lively lagos is like a party city a lively social city it has almost everything you can see in other states it's here in lagos right okay so but one thing is that there is difference okay between um should i say lagos divided into different parts because we have like they said one is the mainland one is the highland one is the this land the that one land yes okay so i which one is more lively the mainland or the island for me mm. the mainland is more lively it has the, the whole, island mm -hmm. has this the fun aspect when it comes to party mm -hmm. uh, the nightlife and everything mm -hmm. that's for the island yeah but mainland what's the mainland in call is it's called Bubutibu. <laughs> i don't understand chari yeah wait do you know before sorry sorry for cutting you off the reason why i'm asking right is because you know i told you guys at the time that i might want to change yeah. I might want to relocate. I might want to change uh, my city, and I am considering two cities: Lagos or Ibadan. And you, you know that I've wanted to live in Lagos at some point. That was last year, but it did not really work out. Okay, but now that I am here, I want to get better understanding and more experience from somebody that is actually staying. This is not even about the whole party life, but actually living starting a new life in lagos so i just needed some ideas some you know advice on or like is should i stay or maybe i shouldn't and just go to a smaller city you know i don't know you know that they used to say something like if you go to america maybe america is where most people like make it so if you get to america you should make it or there's a saying i don't know how it is said like um you make it in america or something so america yeah lagos is just like america like in nigeria Definitely. yeah if you go to they will tell you if you go to lagos you should make it or something or maybe if you want to go into music or any industry if you get to lagos you know what you're doing you should be able to make it so that is how it is guys so now that i've been here i noticed few things very few things one thing is you know at home I'm more of the homey type of person, so I can be here and not even go out. Okay, if I'm a party freak and all of that, I'll be like, Oh my god, I want to go out, I want to go out, I want to go out. You know, I will not even want to stay in one place. But for these two days, I am more relaxed. Okay, yeah, that's the one thing. Number two is like, Guys, just as there's no light in our house, there's no light here, but it's like our own house is better. <laughs> there's no, no light. one thing, one thing I know for sure is mm -hmm. um, people are more relaxed when it comes to the um maybe uh the hometown our hometown mm. our hometown is different but when we're talking about this city this is a big city where everybody's just going to like and in and a living yeah in lagos yeah and lagos is you can choked. do a lot lagos ah is choked. another thing guys there is heat let me say that like not just in this area where i am presently there is heat everywhere because i remember the last day when i was in uh, my big mommy's place there was it there as well but i don't know i think it is much yeah than aside and i just got to know when i was telling him about like the heat it was like do i know that lagos is crowded yeah, like very crowded so there's no space so there is no like enough what should i call it? ventilation or hair or i don't even know to enter houses you can only sit outside to enjoy very 
small like breeze at this time there's amatan the winter and everything but in lagos it's still freaking hot in ado now the city i came from the, in the morning or like this time in the night it is still cold like you start feeling the cold yeah. but yeah you guys in lagos i am hot look at i'm sitting outside and i'm sweating so lagos is crowded majorly lagos is a kind of place that train you to be another mm. tougher person true lagos is just that kind of place where you come and a guy that has no job can mm. easily talk to his or herself and say no I can't be this and I can't be that. I just need to do something. Lagos will train you. Mm -hmm. According to um, the Lagos, um, they has Lagos have this slogan, mm -hmm. which says, "If you are in Lagos mm -hmm. and you are not smart, mm -hmm. there is no other place you can go to in this life and be smart again." Mm -hmm. So they said it. Tobade kotobaja. Mm -hmm. Jamu. Mm -hmm. And um, Lagos has this kind of uh, crazy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you come to Lagos mm -hmm. and you're a novice and you know nobody, Lagos mm -hmm. will show you another red color. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm being Red color. Mm -hmm. Red color. Mm -hmm. Not a white one. Mm -hmm. Red. Mm -hmm. But do Lagos has changed? Lagos has changed. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I wish it was before. But now, things, things, mm -hmm. are, things are getting better. Well, Lagos, Lagos so advice. now that I am thinking of, okay, maybe I should move to Lagos, what advice would you give me? Um, the only advice I can tell you now okay. is moving into Lagos, but if you know you are that kind of person who don't like, um, who doesn't like to be outside, like, who, how, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I just want to look for a better way to arrange it where mm -hmm. we would all understand for you mm. some people don't like where they stress themselves mm -hmm. lagos is one of those places whereby everything you have to work for it. Mm -hmm. even for you to walk from here to bus stop you are working for it mm -hmm. from you taking uh, a bus mm. to a destination is a walk in lagos mm -hmm. you might be on your way for 10 hours Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm -hmm. This is Lagos. There's freaking traffic so, everywhere. So if you think you have that endurance, that kind of, you can endure, the spirit mm -hmm. to endure, mm -hmm. Lagos is the best place to be. Mm. To start a new life. Lagos is the best place for you to start a new life. Believe me. And once you're in it, mm. you will enjoy it. Okay, so now if I'm thinking of, okay, I want to make it in Lagos, what do you think I need to do? How many jobs do I need to do before I can say, okay, I want to start making something? Or what do you think I should do or I can do? Okay, uh, this is it. One thing, one thing I know for sure is just have, just have that thing inside of you. Mm -hmm. That big dream you have inside of you. Establish it in Lagos. People are ready to buy your dream here. Mm. That's one. Too. People are ready to buy your dream year. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Then you can use it to compare the hometown mm -hmm. whereby you you have a dream but they don't believe in it because they don't even know what the dream is. You get me, right? Mm -hmm. But Lagos will pay attention to you. The people mm -hmm. in Lagos will pay attention mm -hmm. to you. They will know the fact that they are busy. Mm -hmm. They are the busy type. Ah, Lagos is very Lagos people. They are very busy, you guys. So even if they are busy, they still yeah. find time to create space mm -hmm. for that stuff that you have. Mm -hmm. So for me, I believe mm -hmm. in Lagos, one job is not enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one job is not enough. I and Lagos is that. expensive. Uh, um, yes. Now, how is it was before? Lagos that time is not expensive. Mm -hmm. But now, it's wild. Mm -hmm. So let's 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 make it and let's build it okay let's so i need like 10 jobs Abby. <laughs> <laughs> no i wasn't saying maybe you need like a 10 job before you can any mm -hmm. leave it no just that one that you have mm -hmm. if you can hold it well and mm -hmm. interact with people a lot mm -hmm. before you know it and connect mm. you're there
yeah Continue just understand. just connecting with the right people definitely you guess and you get to where you want to go so it will take time it will take a lot of hard work sleepless nights because let me tell you your dream somebody also has that same dream you get it is this is everywhere but since it's a crowded place where there are connections you have to work hard like work and yeah, work and smart to tell them one as well mm-hmm. one more thing i have to tell them is mm. you said i i love that uh, part where you said mm. your dream someone someone else has your the same dream. dream in lagos in lagos lifestyle mm-hmm. if in your village for example in my village mm-hmm. now, I have a dream. Mm-hmm. Maybe we that has the dream, like people who have the dream, like mine, mm-hmm. who might not be more than two percent. Mm-hmm. But here in Lagos, <laughs> we are like one million. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> like one million. I tell you. So for you to now say, okay, um, like you're feeling reluctant to accept a particular <laughs> offer. There is somebody who is ready to accept the lower amount. Mm. So it's just a place where you can just easily grab your copy. Lagos will mm. teach you how to grab your copy mm-hmm. on time. So that is the only thing I know I can tell you. And please pack your load and start coming to Lagos. Lagos is the life. Am I welcome? Yeah, you are welcome. In Thank Lagos. you. Okay, so um, let me just stop here now for, like, let me just stop for now. Um, I'll still be inviting Sean again, Sean Wei again to talk to us because he's more into the nightlife, entertainment. Yeah. Another one, you. Entertainment, that you guys. I, I won't lie to you. Uh-huh. See, see, we have two different worlds now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the daytime and we have mm-hmm. the night time. Mm-hmm. Now, the daytime is not even expensive at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Really? Nightlife is mm-hmm. expensive now. Mm-hmm. Believe you me when I'm telling you this. Okay, do you know that for you to even have a meal mm-hmm. in the night, mm-hmm. for those people who work nights work, mm-hmm. You might, more expensive. you might spend four thousand naira just because you want that. Mm. Yes. And to, and even if it is the same for the during the day, it will not cost that much. Definitely. And one thing is that I I notice is that more people are out in the night, be it for work or for the party or for the whatever. Exactly. More people are out in the night than in the morning. I noticed that. That's because. Of so uh, she is going to talk to us about you know the entertainment the life the party the everything the life night time later 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 because he's more experienced he's, he's in the entertainment um world. industry the world so we'll still be hearing from him about that later but one last question okay okay we've kind of like sorted it out but i just don't want to ask about the like cost of living in lagos I know that we said that and that it is expensive, but even with little, can we still stay? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can. Mm. But I believe gradually, gradually, it's mm-hmm. all. You start involving. Gradually, you can, you can start by maybe if you know somebody here in Lagos that you can stay with for some time. You know, if it's that you need to move, you get, and you don't have the funds. If you have a relative or a close friend that can ac- actually accommodate and does not like you know just like traveling abroad i would like to you seriously lagos lifestyle is now like fucking different now mm-hmm. me looking at it in um, like 15 years ago mm-hmm. if you want to come to lagos and you don't have anybody here mm-hmm. uh, there's a way you do it like the person who you're going to court with mm-hmm. like, who you'll be staying with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for a for a guy, mm-hmm. you had to wash for that person, mm-hmm. cook for that person, do all kind of things for that person, fetch water for that person before you will go to your own place. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of lifestyle before in Lagos. Wow. And now, like everything don't change. Like things have really changed a lot. Mm-hmm. So me, I feel like if it is me that I'll be scotted with somebody, okay. So you, the person you can that you might be staying with might not mind you staying even if you don't contribute anything in the house but naturally me if i'm staying with somebody i always like to contribute something 
you know maybe if it is maybe we need to do this instead of me to wait till that person does it i would actually want to like chip in something you guess or appreciate the person in one way or the other which i think that will make the person feel like okay this person appreciates my help you get than taking advantage of you know staying with the person you are still doing anyhow you know that's not good enough so as i said that if you can find someone that you can stay with and does not mind just do something to appreciate and don't stay for long don't stay too long don't feel too comfortable work hard to be able to get your own space to be able to get to you know a greater height that's just one thing that i think can work yep <laughs> all right my loves that is it for today's video Sean, we are so happy to have you here on my channel. And I'm so happy and I'm so glad that you invited me in for this uh, special, should I call it, this is more or less like an interview. <laughs> of so, course. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I've been thinking of like moving, but I don't just want to move and then I'll be like, hello, I'm running back home. You know. Uh, I wouldn't lie to you, it's to get to a stage like that, Lagos can be so funny to that extent mm. you understand but you just don't just give you up in, well, if you can endure it mm. uh, believe me believe me when i tell you i know some of my brothers who came to lagos yeah. telling me that they want to come and leave here mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day they, they spend they spend a month there and their life was so so hard for them to mm. get all they had to do was to go back to the village and say man you're trying. I just can't do it. Mm. You understand? I just can't do it. Yeah. So if you have the money here in Lagos, like the money aspect, like money is not and a problem. And a good job. If you have the that money, is still paying. No, not even about the pay part. Mm. If you have the money, mm -hmm. Lagos is sweet. You can you can fill out like you can go anywhere you wish. You want mm -hmm. to go to mm. do the night thing, do the mm. day thing, go mm. around, do all, all sorts of things like that. Mm -hmm. Lagos is fun for you. But there is no money, but there's still a way you can still go around about it, child. It's, it's acceptable. Mm. So, that is it. Well, let me go and think about it very well. Mm -hmm. Alright, my loves, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much, Sean, for being on my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Stay blessed. Yeah.